Today, we'll talk about super breaker blocks that you can use for price action and smart money trading. We will do a full analysis of breaker blocks. We will cover many concepts in this video. How to use multiple structures, how to find confluences, how to enter trades, how to avoid bad entries, how to find targets to aim for. We have so much to do. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course. Our main focus is price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. If you love scalping and day trading or maybe swing trading and looking for special trading strategies, check out my free trading course. You can find the links on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. Let's start a step-by-step -step journey of understanding super breaker blocks. The first stage of proper breaker blocks starts with a liquidity hunt. One of the easy way is spotting equal highs and lows, basically gathering stop losses in a single price level. Once all these stop losses are hunted, we have an inducement fuel for pushing the price down. However, it could be any important saving points previous day, week, month, highs and lows, or significant saving highs and lows. The second leg of inducement supporting the liquidity hunt with other price action structures from the same or higher time frame. Like what? Imbalances, order block, other breaker blocks, mitigation blocks. So we can confirm two things, significant liquidity hunt and key price action structure. Let's start with my trade. Notice the liquidity that starts gathering at this point, forming equal highs. And with this week, all the stop losses of support and resistance traders are hunted. This is also a nice swing failure pattern. It also collides with this nice imbalance confirming our inducement price level. Let's remember the features of a high quality break and displacement as for step two. Large body candlesticks create a big push downwards or upwards. Most of these candlesticks should be the same color. It should break a significant high and low strongly. I generally prefer candlesticks close below the break point. This movement creates large imbalances most of the time. These break points generally turn into support and resistance flip points where the breaker blocks shape. I personally prefer very sharp and fast movements. So, confirming a break will be your second point. Of course, never expect perfection. No charts will be this clear all the time. Let's get back to my trade. First of all, let's check out swing points. Notice the swing high. This swing low creates that swing high. With this crazy break, we are confirming an internal market structure break. If you notice this other swing low, which is critical, also confirms a break of structure change in higher time frames. What I focus on is this price movement, incredibly high quality. Okay. Let's talk about the breaker blocks. Most of you already know the breaker blocks. The last candle at the swing point before the break. How about multiple same colored candles, which are true breaker blocks? First of all, in my opinion, both of them are correct. The first candle generally serves as the first touch point. And most of the time price reacts from this point. However, there is nothing wrong with taking them all at once as a full breaker block. These candlesticks are only a small part of the equation in the trading system. Nice, you now identified the breaker block and possible reaction point. Let's find out the breaker block in my trade. So, these four red candlesticks actually present the full breaker block supply zone. The last candlestick present a small part of the breaker blocked first reaction point. In my trading life, most of the time, price reacts to the lowest part of the breaker blocks. 
we keep adding more confidence and confirmation to our trading system. The next part is the premium and discount arrays. By using them, you can find cheaper prices to long or more expensive prices to short. I want to take a pause and warn you. Sometimes the price will never pull back. This trade was a textbook of a super breaker block system. It was like 10 out of 10 structures come together. You should never expect this to happen every day. If you can just get 5-6 confirmations out of 10, it is worth the risk. Risk management is the only secret of trading. Checking back on my trade, you can notice the premium and discount zone and how the price reacted from the premium zone. As I said, this trade was like 10 out of 10 perfect trade. I will admit that this does not happen every single day. Now we are in the most important part, supplementary structures. I would never just enter a trade from a breaker block. After all, a breaker block is just support and resistance flip, but nothing else. I need supplements. What else supports my trading system? After the break, what kind of structures come into existence? A large imbalance, micro breaker blocks or order blocks. These little structures determine my sniper entries. If you check the chart, you will notice this little green candlestick, which also actually super order block with this super quality break. Now you cannot see clearly in this time frame, but within the one hour time frame, there's also a magnificent imbalance here. This brings us the importance of checking multiple time frames to identify key structures one more time. Let's talk about internal inducement. In the beginning of this video, we talked about external inducement, 100% the same idea. However, Sometimes price never needs an internal inducement. It sharply drops at once from the breaker block area. But I keep noticing that prices require more and more internal inducement before the final move in the recent years. If you look at our chart, you notice this micro trend going on right below our overall supply area before the price makes its final move. It clears all the stop loss before the big move. Finally, the entries. Let's talk about entries in our reaction point. Let's start with high time frame entries. Price came to our breaker block and hunted all the internal liquidity filled up for its final movement. Sometimes I play with these reactions without checking the lower time frame by managing my risk. So. This is the idea of reaction trade. The good part is you will not miss the movement. It will be less time consuming and no precision required. I do not need to check lower time frames. If it is all great, why do I not take high time frame reaction trades all the time then? Simple. It has a much higher stop out rate. Price can easily want to go deeper and deeper before the fall. There is no certainty for this. The second part is, it is exact opposite of sniper trading. Your risk reward ratio will be smaller. Once I identified the equilobes below, I saw my clear target and I trusted my trade. I played for the reaction. This was a high time frame reaction trade. I was ready to take a loss. I do not care about losses, win or loss has no meaning to me because my 100% focus is on statistics. If I have 10 loss and 10 wins, it means that I am a great trader, keep making money and growing my account. Simple as that. Let's talk about low time frame entries. Okay, the price comes to your high time frame breaker block is all great. One of the greatest entries is actually finding the exact same structure, micro breaker block at this point. But sometimes there will not be a micro mark structure shift. Then as an alternative, you can use mitigation blocks. 
However, I do not fully trust mitigation blocks. I am not a mitigation block lover, and I do not use them a lot, I have to admit this. So, for low time frame entries, checking for microstructures is your first step. This entry style is the only way to achieve sniper methods. Your profit rate will be higher than high time frame entries. You'll be less likely to be stopped out. Perfect. So, what are the problems then? The chance of missing the trade is the biggest issue. Price may fall suddenly without any pullback, and all setup could be wasted. Another problem is watching low time frames is quite time consuming and could be quite complex for the most traders. So, when we look at this one minute chart, it was actually a complex structure for beginners. Notice this swing high, our deepest swing high, and this low creates that high. So, with this tiny break, these candlesticks are micro breaker block. Right on top of it, you can see this tiny super order block and this great imbalance. This should have been your micro entry for sniper scalping. Not easy, I have to admit that. As you can see, there is no perfect way of trading. Every setup and every style has its advantages and disadvantages. The only truth of trading is risk management. Take care, have fun, trade less. See you folks.